Hey guys, um, I want to start off. Something really cool happened to me today. Uh, I walked into a Dollar General in uh, Vinemont, Alabama, and uh, I had a cold-blooded cafe shirt on. And um, one of the girls working there says, "Oh my gosh, reptiles! I, I love reptiles." And I was like, "Oh, cool! You know, I, I breed reticulated pythons, blah blah blah." And she says, "You look familiar." She goes, you have a YouTube channel. I said, yeah, yeah, I said, I've got mostly snakes. This girl was excited to see me. So one, aside from uh, possibly recommending some, that, you know, she seeks some form of medical, uh, neurological help. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Makala from uh, Dollar General in Vinemont, Alabama. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for the very cool greeting today. And uh, this video is for you. If I destroyed your name, the more I thought about it, uh, by the time I got to the house, I wasn't sure if it was correct or not. So it's either Makayla, Makayla, I think it's Makayla or Makaya, something like that. Anyway, she was really cool. She loves snakes. Uh, she loves reptiles, lizards, all that stuff, but she's, she stated to me that she's not allowed to have one because her, her people are not very enthused about the reptile community. So uh, we're going to address that in a future video and hopefully help her out with that. So as you can see, I am fighting with Giselle here, my genetic stripe. She is uh, wanting to go up or anywhere else but on me so anyway what this video is about I don't know if many of you saw it today uh, the post from the dodo which occurs about every quarter about every three months with uh, Ed Teoka's snake with his daughter now any of us that have been in the snake realm for any length of time we know who Ed is uh, he is in the UK I believe I have talked to him on numerous occasions and uh, super nice guy. He's had these two reticulated pythons, Sonny and Cher, uh, one being an albino and the other one I believe is a sun tiger. But um, these two snakes along with his daughter grew up together and he has interacted with these snakes for so long and for such a numerous amount of time that they, they coexist perfectly. And with supervision, he allows his daughter to interact with these snakes too, who happens to be very young. And I'm sure we've all seen the video of her laying on the couch or uh, sitting on the couch with her iPad or whatever, and the, this 13 to 15 foot snake is just crawling all over. Now, the dodo posts this, like I say, about every three months or so. And it is like wildfire. These people get on there and just slam Ed, saying how bad of a parent he is. And of course, everybody's reaction, the snake's going to eat the girl, all right? It, it's so frustrating to read the comments. As snake people, like we are, I highly recommend you don't even read the comments because it will absolutely infuriate you. I have three kids, two daughters and a son all of which have grown from day one with snakes. They know a lot about snakes. They're educated with them. They know that there are times when to not mess with them. They are educated somewhat on reading the signals that these snakes will give you, which is very important. So the, the main topic for this video is going to be what are we supposed to do as a snake community to defend, sort of, uh, Mr. Teoka's videos or pictures or whatever? And I made the mistake today of going through and reading some of the comments, and it's the reason for that right there. People suck, all right? Especially people outside of our theater, which they don't understand snakes. They don't, they don't want to understand snakes. They have had a fear set in them that they don't have any desire 
to get over. So us going in there and defending them, I'm at a crossroads. Do we do that or do we just say, you know what, they're idiots, they don't know what they're, they're talking about. Let me get your reaction on that. Let me get your theory on what we should do. Half of the time I'm thinking it is our responsibility to possibly educate these people. Let them know, look, these people like myself who has been around snakes for many, many years, we know when it's good and when it's not good to get one out or who we should get out or which one or whatever and what time. We may make mistakes, but all in all, we are very cautious and we know how to read our pets. And it all falls back to that. There, there's one meme that I love. And it basically says, just because my pets are different does not make them wrong. And I thoroughly believe that. I, You guys know how I feel about my snakes. But getting back to that, what are we supposed to do? Do we ignore it? Or do we jump in there and try to share some of our knowledge to try to educate these people? Even though we all know these people do not want to be educated for the most part they do not want to hear our side Giselle what are you doing um, they have got it in their heads that snakes are evil you've all heard it a good snakes a dead snake blah 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 well as we defend that and we try to offer our knowledge they're not gonna hear it they're, they're just oblivious and so do we ignore it i don't think so i don't think we should ignore it i think we should offer some form of good education with it but what good is it going to do at this point where society has shown where they are you're either gonna believe something or you're not and there are a lot of people that i have touched in my lifetime that came out really, really bad. There are a lot of people that I have educated over my time with snakes and changed their minds on it. Um, as most of you know, I own a pest control company here in Alabama, and I have changed a lot of people's minds about, they see a snake in their yard and their first instinct is to go ahead and get a hoe or get a shovel or get a, a pistol or whatever. Now these people are saying, you know what, because of you, I didn't kill this thing, I let it go. You told me how beneficial they are, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so that would pan over to what we do as far as keeping snakes and, you know, Alabama, as you all know from my last video, they are trying their hardest to pass the law saying no large constrictors. And they are back in session in February, so we will not know anything until then. Since that point, I have talked with many senators, with many uh, representatives, uh, commissioners, and stated my point. And I did have one of my followers make a very, very valid point on that last video, basically saying we can't go in there with guns blazing and saying, you know, you can't do this, banning them is stupid, blah, 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 blah and offered some really super good advice, which by the way, my left coast subscriber, and she knows who I'm talking about, uh, I took your advice and I kind of went to these people with, hey, how about we offer a mentorship? How about we bring in permit? Instead of banning them all together, which in Alabama, there are a whole bunch of breeders uh, not just retics, but Burmese and, and even anacondas. So let's offer some form of education, uh, perhaps mentoring for a year before you can actually purchase one. Something other than don't ban them. So to my Left Coast subscriber, thank you. I took your advice. We haven't seen eye to eye on a lot of things, but that one was very well said. So thank you. I'm going to put her up. Give me one second. Oh, you're getting heavy. And of course, she's not cooperating. Get in there. So, as the 
topic would continue, what do we say to the haters of, um, whew, that was a workout, for uh, Mr. Taoka? Uh, do we say anything? What do we say? I think it is important that we spread the education on what we know. Now, the worst thing that could happen is you spread information that you think you know is right, but it's not very accurate. When they find out that something is inaccurate, everything's going to be shot to hell. So, what I am saying is, if you are well in knowledge, if you are quite certain that your knowledge is correct, go ahead and offer some education. If they don't listen, that's their problem. We can't do anything about it. We all know that there is a 98% of the society that does not like snakes. And if we just look back and think, as part of 2%, can we increase that to 3%? Can we increase that to 5%? Something needs to happen. We definitely need to increase by sharing our knowledge, but just make sure it's accurate. If they find out that we are saying inaccurate knowledge, then it's going to be for not. So make sure your information is correct. All right, to Ed, which uh, I know he watches some of my videos. I have subscribed to his as well. I've asked him before in private messages, how do you do it? How do you uh, keep from just going off on these people? Because some of them are so ridiculous. You take... Uh, his that are, I think, four and five years old, uh, Sonny and Cher. And, of course, somebody's going to spout off, oh, they're, they're, that's, that's a wild animal. Guys, we're in about the 25th or 26th generation of captive bred reticulated pythons. The wild, even though it is possible, we're not saying that our snakes are puppy dog safe. We're not saying that. We are saying that, hey, we have got to learn how to come together and understand that these snakes deserve respect. No different from a dog. If you have a dog, there's some times where you have to respect them. How many of you have told your kids, don't mess with the dog while he's eating? He might snap at you. Same thing. Oh, however, dogs kill more people a year than our snakes do. So what are we supposed to say to that? I don't know. Do any of y'all? What is the correct thing to say? I don't know. Society has lost their ever-loving mind. So any help with you guys be great. Uh, I had to leave that whole comment section on the Dodo's print today uh, because I could almost... Feel, well, I did feel my blood pressure going absolutely through the roof. And it is because of that train of thought that we are having to fight so hard to keep our hobby alive. I know that uh, U.S. Art is involved with us in Alabama. Uh, I'm certain they were involved with Florida, who just got it passed. So I don't know how well that's going to go. Crossing my fingers and... Uh, hoping for the best outcome. If you don't see me on YouTube anymore, you will know that uh, it got passed and I am hiding out with my snakes. So, I didn't say that. I didn't say that out loud. Okay, so, Makaya, Makayla, Makayla, girl at Dollar General at Vinemont, shoot me a comment in the... Uh, in the comments below and I will see to it that you get a free t-shirt mostly snakes I appreciate the warm welcome when uh, when I come in there it was really cool guys I just never been I've never had that done before so kudos all right tell me what you guys think about this topic I don't know if I've actually solved anything or if I just rambled on fighting with my snake for 10-15 minutes uh, but let me know what you think we can't uh, go off the handle like a lot of us would like to to these people because that's going to make it even worse. So uh, we have to find a mild-mannered way on trying to get through these people's heads that it's just about respect, respect in an animal. If you have uh, a wild-caught horse, that horse is dangerous. 
if you have a wild dog, it's going to be dangerous. You have a wild cat. I'm telling you right now, I've got a customer on my pest control route that I have to tell him to put his damn cat up or else I'm not coming in. Yeah, totally handed him my man card at that point. I'm afraid of a cat. But I will say, this cat, I would deal with any one of these snakes on their worst day before I would deal with this cat. I'm trying to redeem myself. The cat's really, really pissed every time I go there. Jumped at my face. So I'm telling you, I had reasons to tell him to put his cat up. I, I'm not like that. I, I'm, anyway, I got to go change an engine or something to get my man card back. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Peace out.